This is the World News on Aliyamoye TV and Radio. Good afternoon. I am Mudukbe Akinye Soye. Here are the top stories. President Tinubu committed to restoration of security in Northeast. 2023 World Teachers Day stakeholders have highlighted the challenges bedeviling education in the country. In business, federal government loses 847 billion naira to gas flaring. On the foreign scene, over 75,000 U.S. healthcare workers go on strike. In sport, 2030 World Cup to be held in six countries across three continents. Details of this and more coming up shortly. Stay with us. Welcome back. Now the news in details. Vice President Kashim Shatima has assured that President Bola Tinubu would leave no stone unturned in the, ensuring the restoration of total security in the Northeast. Shatima gave the assurance when the Board and Management of the Northeast Development Commission uh, presented the Northeast Stabilization and Development Master Plan to him at the Presidential Villa Abuja. The Vice President also urged the Commission to be prudent with its resources and invest in projects that will have a lasting impact on the region. The Minister of Interior, Olubumi Tsunjiuju, says reforms are underway to simplify the passport application process. Speaking on a television program on Wednesday, Tsunjiuju stated that one of the reforms the Ministry is implementing in passport management is to put an end to the chaotic passport application process. The minister stressed that the days of drawn-out enrollment procedures are long gone and are unacceptable, adding that it, will, it is Nigerians' right to experience a smooth procedure. A magistrate court sitting in Yaba, Lagos, on Wednesday remanded Afrobeat musician Naramali and Sam Lari in police custody. During the court season, the Lagos State Police requested that Naramali and Sam Lari be remanded for 30 days pending the completion of their investigation. But in our judgment, the Chief Magistrate Adiola Olatumboson held that the suspect be remanded for only 21 days. <music> the President Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it plans to transmit the results of the November 11, no November 11 Bayosa governorship election manually. The state INEC President, Electoral Commissioner, REC, Obo Efanga stated this in Yenogwa during an interactive session with religious leaders and faith-based organizations. The state's commissioner, who said collection of PVCs will end on October 11, added that the umpire was ready to conduct free, fair and credible election and only voters accredited by Beavers would be allowed to vote. According to Efanga, 16 political parties had fielded candidates for the election. <music> As the world marks the 2023 World Teachers' Day, stakeholders in the education sector have once again highlighted the challenges with Dublin education in the country. The call for converted efforts by government institutions and the people in addressing the situation and improve the condition of teachers. <music> You're listening to the World News on Ali Yamuye TV and radio still to come. Business foreign and sport news. Please stay with us. Welcome back to business and economy news. The federal government lost about 843 billion naira to gas flaring between January 2022 and August 2023. Data obtained from the National Oil Spill Detection and Response Agency has shown According to the report, the volume of gas flared in the eight-month period this year was 16.28% higher compared with the same period in 2022. It added that a gas flared in the first eight months of this year had the potential of generating 17,100 gigawatt hours of electricity while it emitted 9.1 million tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. <music> On the foreign scene, over 75,000 union workers at healthcare provider Keza Permanente have gone on strike, beginning the largest workout by health workers in the U.S. history. The three-day work stoppage involves nurses, pharmacists, and lab technicians in five United States and Washington, D.C. 
nearly 13 million patients could be impacted by the strike which follows stalled contract negotiations between the unions and the case of Permanente. <music> Lastly, in the world of sports, FIFA has confirmed that the 2030 World Cup will be held across six countries in three continents. In a statement on Wednesday, the international governing body announced the joint bid of Spain, Portugal and Morocco will be the sole candidacy for the right to host the competition. FIFA added that the opening three matches of the competition will take place in Uruguay, Argentina and Paraguay in commemoration of the World Cup centenary. The decision is said to be ratified at the FIFA con Congress next year. To end the world news, a quick recap of the major stories. We reported that President Tinubu committed to restoration of security in North East. 2023 World Teachers Day stakeholders have highlighted the challenges between education in the country. In business, we told you that federal government lost 847 billion naira to gas clearing. On the foreign scene, over 75,000 U.S. healthcare workers go on strike. And in sport, we also reported that 2030 World Cup to be held in six countries across three continents. The World News was edited and produced by Abida Tal Kid. For more news and updates, you can follow us on our social media platform on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash TV Radio on the X app on at Yamoye underscore TV on Instagram at Yamoye TV. You can also stream live by logging on to our website, www.rocks www.aliamuyetvradio.com Thank you so much for listening. I am Mutukwe Akinyasui. Good afternoon.